Hi everyone. I've added a PowerPoint to LMS on using movies as a therapeutic tool in counseling. The, fl the slides are fairly self-explanatory, but I just want to make a few comments about why I added them and what it is about films that makes them so powerful. First off, evolution has shaped our brains to think metaphorically and to understand ourselves and the world around us in terms of story. We think in narrative and our brains are brimming with mirror neurons that allow us to empathize with the feelings of others and to learn from indirect experience. Story is our natural mode and films allow us to try on different lives and viewpoints and to see and feel from different perspectives. Because of this, movies can be effective in letting clients explore ideas and emotions that they'd find difficult to address in more direct ways. So, how would you go about incorporating cinema therapy techniques into your work? One thing you could do is assign a thoughtfully selected film as client homework to be discussed the following week, maybe with some reflection questions attached. Another technique might simply be to ask your clients about their favorite films and then what it is about those films that they find meaningful. This can sometimes provide insight into the client's thoughts, feelings, and underlying values. A third option would be to ask clients about their reactions to certain scenes or characters in specific films. Who or what are they reacting to or identifying with as the story unfolds? And what might that mean in relation to their own experience? These approaches can lead to some tough conversations, but one of the advantages of using film in comparison to other therapeutic activities is that people generally enjoy seeing movies, and so they're less resistant. For some clients, films are a great way to open up topics that might otherwise be difficult to introduce. Well-chosen movies provide physical, cognitive, and socio-emotional benefits. From a counseling perspective, the physical benefits are probably the least evident, but for clients who have difficulty connecting with or expressing their emotions, they can be significant. Laughing through a comedy releases endorphins and strengthens the immune system. Crying releases toxic chemicals associated with stress. Scary movies, for those who enjoy them, heighten the senses and engage the fight or flight response in an exciting but manageable way. We've all had the experience of leaving a movie feeling exhausted and wrung out, or maybe light and exhilarated. Those are physical responses to the emotions we've experienced, and they can be very cathartic for certain clients. An emotional benefit of film is that it puts distance between ourselves and the problems we're processing. Because it is not our story, it feels less threatening, but our mirror neurons respond as if it were. So the indirect experience on the screen has potential to alter thoughts and feelings about our real life circumstances. This is especially true for clients who have opportunity to discuss and reflect their responses as part of the counseling process. In terms of the psychological elements of stories, mythologist and scholar Joseph Campbell identified that all great stories follow the same psychological map, which he calls the hero journey. In each of these stories, there are archetypes or symbolic characters like the wise old man, the orphan, the warrior, that are recognized and understood all over the world. The details change, but the basic story is always the same. The hero goes forth, finds helpers along the way, faces obstacles, and is then transformed by experience and sacrifice. As counselors, we can use stories, as depicted in film, to help clients reimagine their own lives as heroic journeys. Our task is to help them identify their own helpers, face their own obstacles, and be transformed in positive ways by their own experiences. When you do select movies for your clients, be sure to consider age appropriateness, not only in terms of violence, nudity, and language, but also in terms of themes and messages. Think about your clients' needs, strengths, and therapeutic goals, and then choose films that purposefully address those issues. So, in conclusion, remember that story is the natural mode of human thought, and that movies are stories brought to life.
Because of their wide availability and their diversity of content, tone, and topic, and because people like them, they lend themselves well to therapeutic applications. They're one more tool to add to your CYW Therapeutic Toolkit. Thank you.